Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. So there is a duality pursuit, which is a really nice little duality cup to win a really cool car currently up on the map. And we're gonna talk about if this event is worth doing, are the cars worth getting, and all the good stuff. So first off, this event does have two lock-ins and a prize car. That's actually pretty good. So the first lock-in is gonna require you to have the Pagani Haraya Roadster BC. I probably said that wrong, but whatever. You need that car right there. And it looks like the second lock-in is the Zonda Cinque and the Zonda Cinque Coupe. So you can use either one of those cars for lock-in number two. There's a total of 50 races with your basic prizes, just some keys, game cash, some parts, you know, just the regular stuff. But there is a prize car and this is where it gets good. Now this car is going to be a 7.1, maybe a 7.2 car or something like that. So this car is overall going to be pretty fast and it does have a live racing setup. With only upgrading three parts, you can get up to 630 performance points with over 2,000 Evo. So this car should be a live racing monster. The live racing setup will be in the 11 second lobby. Basically, all you gotta do is put your nitrous on stage three, body on stage two, tires on stage three, transmission on stage four, and fit all the other parts back to stock, and ba-bam, crazy good live racing setup. So the answer is yes, this car is definitely going to be worth getting. It is a very, very, very nice car. So maxed out, it does have a dyno of a 7.135, and it looks like you can get really close to that dyno. I'm not sure if anybody's figured out the fastest time for this car yet, but we were hitting 7.1s and 7.2s with the car. So, hey, there's that. Somebody might even get it down to 7.0s. We don't know yet. I haven't played around with it too much, but it does have a really good live racing setup. It's got good acceleration, good top speed, and it's overall just a really nice car if you can get parts for it. So in my opinion, the event is definitely worth doing. Now, it's not super easy to get parts for the Pagani cars, but, you know, that's the one thing you do have to take into consideration. Parts are not easy to get, but the car itself should be awesome. If it works the way I think it's going to work with those numbers for live racing, it will be a monster, unless the car is weird. Occasionally, cars are weird and they don't perform the way they should, but 98% of the time when a car has got a tune like this, it blows everything out of the water if you know how to set it up. So in my opinion, this is going to be a very good event. If you can get the cars and the parts, you should probably do it because this is a really darn nice car, guys. This is a really, really, really nice car. If you don't have the cars to run the Duality Cup, they're probably going to be in the gold crates or something. They will make some way where you can get those so you can complete the event. But yeah, I think that's pretty much going to be it for the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will catch you next time. Lightning out, and we will have an amazing day. I just said that wrong. Whatever. Goodbye. I suck at speaking as always. Gosh. Dang it.